Thank you for joining me. I'm Sammy. I want to do a video today on this Cancer New Moon. So it's going to be all signs. First, I want to talk about the astrology and the transits that we're going through. Today is the 7th of July. The new moon in Cancer is taking place the 9th and 10th, depending on where you are. So for me, I'm on the East Coast. I believe it's like 4 in the morning here on the 10th. So depending on where you are in the world, I'm on the east coast of the United States. So you may be dealing with this on, uh, what's today? Wednesday. So Friday night and Saturday. Right? Right. Okay, so <laughs> this Cancer New Moon. First, let, okay, let's just think about what we've gone through over the past few months. We've had Mercury in retrograde, which is now out of post shadow, thank God. We're done with Mercury retrograde. Okay, and it really wasn't that bad. It was just, you know, it makes things a little bit more hectic, a little bit more challenging, and some people tend to revert back to their past during that time. So hopefully that period is over for you and you've learned a lesson, valuable lesson from that. Pluto is in retrograde. Saturn is in retrograde. And now we have Neptune in retrograde as well as Jupiter. Right? So there's so much revisiting the past and Neptune has this like illusion thing this fog so with it in Neptune it's really dependent on your placements but for some people the fog it kind of lifts a bit and you see more clearly and that would be happening as well with leaving the mercury retrograde post shadow period too so you may feel like things are starting to come together for you and we have all the solar and lunar eclipse energy and this cancer new moon is going to close out the eclipse cycle so whatever you want to manifest now you should have a pretty good idea of what it is cancer is the home it's about deeper feelings very sensitive very intuitive what makes you feel good but cancer is also a cardinal energy which means that cancer is like a go-getter they take initiative they take action and they don't usually um, get that reputation when you hear people talk about cancer but it is true of all cardinal signs so when you think about what's coming up for you now we have a brand new beginning, a brand new chance to create something amazing, whatever it is. And this should have become very clear to you over the last several months. So here in Florida, we have this tropical storm, Elsa, which really is, hasn't been anything. And I'm in central Florida, so it probably just went north of me. So forgive me if it's terrible where you are, but right now it's not bad. There's just a little bit of wind. So if you hear these giant leaves outside of my window <laughs> slamming into the window, that's all it is. Okay. So back to what I was saying. We have this brand new chance to build whatever we're working on. So wherever this is for you, this would be in your cancer house, in your chart. So look up your birth chart. What I always tell you guys to do and find where cancer is in your chart. And this is where you'll be feeling this new moon energy. So a brand new beginning in whatever house that is. It could be romance, fifth house. It could be relationships, marriage, seventh house. It could be eighth house of healing and uh, money and intimacy. It could be, uh, and boundaries. I always forget that with the eighth house. Boundaries, huge. Okay, it could be a career, 10th house, 11th house, networking, friends, social uh, gatherings, how the world sees you, internet things, social media, and then 12th house would be your dreams and um, what's hidden from you 
and um, sort of like a brand new beginning, extra brand new beginning, and like kind of heading through the darkness, getting through the dark things and letting go of the past. That's 12th house. Okay, if it's in your first house, then you would be a Cancer rising. So that's going to be all about the self and what makes you comfortable and like your home and your family. The second house would be money, value, your own value, and your body. Third house is the mind, very mental, siblings, communication, how you think and, and communicate and express. And then the fourth house is the house that Cancer represents out of the whole chart, which is home and family and property and comforts. So I'm pretty sure I went over all the houses. Oh, sixth house. I think I skipped sixth house and ninth house. So sixth house is more for your day-to-day -day activities, like a job. Like, what do you have to do around the house? You gotta wake up at this time, take a shower, go to the gym, feed the dogs. Day-to-day -day activities, as well as diet and nutrition and how you take care of your body. And then the ninth house is going to be more for travel, expanding the mind, knowledge, um, learning new topics, different cultures, just exploring new avenues of knowledge maybe that you hadn't before. But it's going to be how it coincides for Cancer. And because it is a new moon, we have a chance to release emotions. We're having a chance to release the past. It could be a relationship, it could be a career, it could be anything for you. And it is dependent on your birth chart, what you've been going through over the last few months. So think about what you need to think about. What major changes and major epiphanies you've had during the eclipse season. Because now that's going to be what we're talking about here. When it's time for you to take action. So we want to kind of channel that cancer cardinal energy now instead of the really deep sensitive emotional stuff which is great for healing and you can be doing that now as well but i want you to think about that one or two major epiphanies life changes lifestyle changes or just things that really hit you kind of hard about where you're headed how you did things in the past and how you want to change that now maybe you're starting a new business venture maybe you're starting a new project Maybe you want to start a new relationship or you just want to start a new phase in your relationship. So now is the perfect time for a fresh beginning and you really um, want to be careful as well because we have Mars and Leo with Venus now coming right up on Mars and Leo and so next week they will be together and that's a really good aspect for love and creativity and even money and taking action towards money. But um, sometimes, especially with this new moon, which new moons are always a darker aspect of things. Like the full moon is very bright and shines light on things and helps us let go and release things. But the new moon is kind of dark and it's kind of still the energy is being cultivated and it's up to us to manifest and cultivate that energy. So you can feel, if you're not careful, in loving relationships with this new moon that maybe uh, you're not good enough. Maybe there's like frustration here because they're opposing Saturn. So Saturn brings up challenges um, and just makes things a little bit harder. Harder to connect, harder to communicate, harder to see eye to eye. So in love, you just, you know, Leo's very loving and, and kind and a generous heart and they love family and they just love love. So even though Mars and Venus here and Leo are great, when they oppose Saturn, Saturn can bring up this, this challenge aspect. So I want you to remember that. So when you're feeling frustrated in a relationship or communication's off or you're kind of missing the mark <laughs> a little bit, you know, and it could just be something very small. It could be a little comment that you take the wrong way. And so it could be now you're feeling insecure or feeling unworthy of the relationship that you have before you this time. And I keep hearing this everywhere and, and just being guided by my higher self about this. Being grateful for what's right in front of you. The opportunities that you have right now. And with Uranus here in sextile to this new moon, it, it's like doing it your way. 
forget the rules forget everything that you think you have to do this certain way Uranus is the rebel Uranus brings change unexpected change surprises you don't see it coming and it's your own energy here it's like all about the individual so how do you want to approach this new moon this new thing that you're creating or your relationships and love think about the greatest goal right or opportunity or dream you have in your mind of what it could be the potential and that's where we want to head to so we're talking about taking action towards this thing and we're talking about letting go of the need to please everybody else staying very true to yourself very true in your authenticity of just your your individual self your uniqueness and don't worry about how everyone else thinks it should be done or how the government says you got to do it we're just doing it how you see you know that path you see ahead of you and you think oh yeah I can do it just like this and I can have this and this and this and this okay we're gonna work towards that Uranus may bring some surprises um, and Saturn may bring a couple blocks but we have this loving energy that we're moving in Mars and Venus and Leo and we have this cancer new moon and and uh, it's just gonna be this energy with the Sun and the new moon in cancer it's like letting go of the past healing the past forgiveness if necessary because Neptune uh, is going to be aspecting as well and then Jupiter has these opportunities here so it's really a great time if we can focus don't worry about illusion and everything else it's like you really need to see straight through here follow your intuition you have to know that you're making the right choice for yourself so this isn't going to be the standard thing this is going to be something new something different a fresh beginning not going back to something old not trying to start something that you did 20 years ago it's brand new and it's got to be your way you're honest okay so it's a great time for manifestation this is a fresh new beginning for everybody so whether for you it's love for you it's healing for you it's intimacy or your job career money yourself there's so many ways this can aspect you and I'm so excited for this transit and for all of you too. So let's get into the all signs. I just wanted to really hit hard on that because we have this chance now to manifest and we always do with the new moon but this is really gonna come through because we've had all this energy with the eclipses and we had all these epiphanies right and things fell away and some things ended and some things started brand new and then we had some challenges but now it's like the path gets clearer every everything that gets in the way every time something comes in the way the path becomes more clear so now we have this chance brand new beginning for what feels right using that cancer intuition using this closure to eclipse season everything that you've learned over the last few months and really just figuring out what's the next step how do we take action now and remembering for whatever's in front of you you know that saying like love the one you're with it's kind of like that but it's like take the opportunities you're given okay even if it doesn't just look exactly how you want it because Uranus brings unexpected things so just be open use your discernment and we got to just jump head first into this thing now it's time to take action this is going to expand over the next six months and really see everything that we're working towards and now is the beginning so don't miss this chance friday saturday cultivating new beginnings if you feel extra sensitive that's okay some people will if you want to be more at home or comfortable or you want to kind of retreat a little bit into yourself and figure out everything that you're feeling that's normal too for a cancer new moon so I just want you to be aware of the taking action aspects the taking initiative aspects of cancer that no one ever talks about okay let's get into this all signs please like and subscribe share this video how are you guys I haven't made a video in a while 
And the kids are away, so it's the perfect time to do so and the perfect time because of this new moon in Cancer. So let's start with the collective. Yeah. Spirit's like, where's your other cards? Or my higher self, whichever you prefer. Where's your other cards? Okay, so I'm going to try to make this quick for the Cancer New Moon. For all signs, what you may be working on, going through, life changes, whatever the universe wants to bring through. Thank you guys, guardians, angels, ancestors. Please give us a nice, clean, protected space. Clear messages for whatever is most important for each sign, starting with the sign of Capricorn. Wow. Okay, we're going to start with Capricorn. I'll do the collective at the end. Okay. So, first of all, this jumped right out. Can you see? Sorry, my lighting is jacked up. Anyways, Ten of Cups. For Capricorn, this is a, such a great card. This is family. This is kind of Cancerian, you know? So this is family. This is happiness. This is so, like fulfillment. So you may be just feeling really thankful. I'm getting this uh, just overwhelming sense of gratitude right now for all the lessons you've learned, Capricorn. All the trials, everything you've come through. And just feeling this sense of Fulfillment or, or like pride almost in how far you've come. Maybe you've moved um, in your home space or changed some things around to find more comfort. Maybe you've changed your work schedule or relationship and you just feel good in your home and with family and just feeling very happy with this Cancer New Moon. Tell me more about Capricorn. I really like it. Okay, we have five of pinnacles. So this can talk about being left out in the cold. Okay, this could talk about money, insecurity. I feel you guys are finding your value. You're finding your self-worth and maybe it took some time. You could be coming out of a period of insecurity um, or you could even be feeling a little bit insecure like I mentioned earlier with the transits. When Saturn opposes Mars and Venus and Leo, it can bring up kind of a feeling of unworthiness. So you just want to stay in that space of gratitude. Really be grateful for where you are right now because it seems like you have a lot to be grateful for. You may have concerns about money or be stressing about money, but that's not a thing for you guys, okay? Don't even worry about that. King of Pentacles. You're worried about your money, but you're on it. So if you have concerns about money, or it could be that you have plenty of money, King of Pentacles, but there's this, uh, it's an underlying unworthiness or sense of, I want to say lower self-esteem. So whatever you guys have been through, you're definitely finding a happier space. Your money looks great. You're very grounded and stable at this time, King of Pentacles. For some of you, you may be meeting or coming in contact with the King of Pentacles, which would be another earth sign, fellow earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but King of Pentacles doesn't worry about money. He's very generous. And he's reliable. So that's you, Capricorn. The hard worker, all reliable. So <laughs> you're just being you and very happily, it seems. The magician is on the bottom. So you have a great opportunity to make plenty of money right now. For some reason, this is coming through uh, pretty heavily. So. Maybe play the lotto on the new moon. Um, it's like you guys are coming out of this. You're coming out of this and, and learning your worth. Coming out of this, whatever this insecurity is. Um, it could have been a victimization as well. Victim mindset. Feeling like someone did you wrong. You're coming out of this. You're very grateful. You got money. It's like you can create anything you want right now. If you would like to invest, that's here. Some of you are single and loving it, that's here. And you're really focused on your money, which is great. For some of you, you may be coming in contact soon with the fire sign. We have King of Wands here. 
Um, so it looks good. If you want to make some investments, now would be a good time. But, um, you know, do your research first if you're talking about the stock market and all that. But uh, new business ventures, anything like that looks good right now. I really feel great for you guys. Capricorn, you feel very... Just in a good place. Just like happy with who you are. Letting go of that insecurity. I really like that. Thank you, Spirit. Let's move on to... Okay. Aquarius. You may have some worries coming up right now. A little bit of anxiety. Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights. Insomnia. Thinking too much. Which is what air signs do. Okay. Very mental space. That's okay. Be logical. Not too logical. You don't want to overthink it, overthink it, overthink it. Okay. For some of you, this is about love. For some of you, it's, this is about the future. You may have concerns about the future, where you're headed, where your family's headed, or your country, or the world for that matter. You guys are very open-minded and humanitarian, universally minded, so you may have concerns about that right now, or just in your personal life, followed by the Ten of Swords, which is an ending. So for some of you, there was an ending and you're still thinking about it. Wow! The devil flipped over. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn, or this could be you, actually. I'm getting the sense you or someone around you is really... This isn't going to apply to everyone, okay? For some of you... I'm just going to say it. It's not nice. For some of you, someone around you... Recently died of like an overdose or something. Okay? Okay, I want to get that out of the way. For many of you, others of you... You have these worries. Maybe you're worried about an ending. But the devil is here, so this is like definitely overthinking. This could be obsessive thoughts. But this is also about doing things in excess. It could be trying to stop a bad habit, quitting a bad habit. Um, or you could have just really been dealing with someone very not nice. Someone very selfish. It could be a Capricorn. Um, this card also kind of brings in a narcissistic energy for me with this Ten of Swords. Like a backstabbing. Someone may have really hurt you and you, you're trying to move past it, but yeah. Three of Swords on the bottom is heartbreak. This could just be how you're thinking though. You could just be thinking negatively and trying to pull yourself out of this place. It's so hard to do general readings this way because I know not all of you are feeling like this, but the ones who are, you're definitely feeling strong enough for me to be getting these cards. So we want to let go of this anxiety. This is really a good time for healing. Okay, Ten of Swords means it's the end. It's the end of the pain. It's the end of suffering. So this is a time for healing. With the devil energy, some of you may just be really putting in a lot of work and effort in your future right now. And you may be worried that it's not good enough or something. Still replaying this past energy in your mind of whatever has ended. But um, the devil can just be very hard working. You may just be putting in overtime, trying to make it right. If it's career, you're working super hard because of this concern. You did have that heartbreak card. It doesn't always have to be heartbreak. It could be just a mental anguish. And that sometimes that's from your own doing, Aquarius, because you think too much. And you can't put the weight of the world on your own shoulders. You can't fix the entire world, you know, or the relationship. If it's done, let it be done. Let's not think too much about it. Let's try to see what else we have for Aquarius. Tell me more for Aquarius, please. We do have Ace of Wands. So, if you're working towards something, this is a brand new beginning, a creative endeavor. You guys are very creative. 
So think about the thing. Use this Uranian energy and think about the thing that's like totally out there. Like you probably already have this idea. This is like a spark, okay? It's a new passionate spark, a new beginning in something. And it's an inspiration. So it can be a moment of clarity, but it's also wants you to take action. So think about the thing that no one would expect from you. Think about the thing that's popped in your mind before and you're like, oh no, that's crazy. That's the thing. The thing that's totally out there. And it seems like you, I wanna know what you guys are thinking so hard about, like with this anxious, nervous energy about this ending. Either way, you're gonna come into this, this new creative thing now. And I think you are already working hard towards something, at least mentally going over it. And it's gonna be worth celebrating, okay? When this finally comes to fruition, maybe six months from now, we have three of cups. So get out there. Maybe you guys need to get out for a bit this weekend, if you can. Spend time with friends, clear your mind. Okay, focus on this new thing. And if it means putting in tons of effort right now to take action towards it, then that's what you need to do. Thank you, Aquarius. I mean, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. You may be um, thinking about something from your past that ended, but now you have a new beginning with a Capricorn. That could be for some of you. I'm trying to think of, there's so many interpretations for these cards. Yeah, I feel like if that's the case, you're gonna have a better relationship now than the one that you left. You have to heal that past relationship and offer forgiveness to yourself mainly, but that's gonna be very much give and take relationship, better financially for both of you, and just easier, equal feel in the relationship. Okay, for real this time, let's go to Pisces. Pisces, please, spirit, for the Cancer new moon. Pisces, Cancer, New Moon, same thing, this Nine of Swords. So, you may find yourself overthinking, Pisces, having trouble sleeping at night, restless energy. You may be getting upgrades as well at nighttime, and that may be um, preventing you from sleeping. You're wanting to start something new. We have this Page of Swords, and or some of you are watching somebody or somebody's watching you, but this is like learning more. You want to learn more. You want to study or researching. You want to look into new things or just feeling very curious right now. You may have an anxious, uh, restless energy about a new, something new, a new beginning, um, a conversation possibly that needs to take place. The Page of Swords is about learning a bit more first. You may have a new idea that you need to research. We have Queen of Cups. So for some of you, you may be dealing with the Libra or you may be um, dealing with the Gemini as well or Aquarius. But then we also have Queen of Cups. So that could be a fellow Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio. But during this time, it's like you're worried you're not good enough or feel like you're, ha you're not in the right place yet. You may feel out of place, Pisces. And you want to learn more about where you're headed. But you know you're headed towards something good, okay? So we just need to get that out of the way right now. You know where you're headed is great. Queen of Cups, very compassionate, loving energy. She does things for other people. She cares a lot about other people. And it's really about staying true to yourself in your heart as well. So make sure wherever you're headed, whatever you're studying, researching, learning about, it has to be in alignment with you and your authenticity and what what you really believe in for your future. For some of you, you are working towards a, a loving relationship. You may have concerns about a relationship if you're dealing with an air sign. 
But for right now, I don't see any real sign to worry. This could be Neptune and Jupiter in the sign of Pisces that is causing illusion. Okay, which may give you concerns that really aren't there. And this could be why you feel the need to watch somebody on social media or why they may be watching you. Sometimes I get that sense as a Pisces when Neptune has certain aspects to my sign, especially with Jupiter here and then in retrograde. It's like kind of feeling like people are being insincere with you or having a hard time believing people when they speak. You know what I mean? Okay, so popped out is Eight of Cups, so this is walking away from something. So, Spirit is just saying, look, if you have concerns, if it doesn't feel right, if it causes anxiety and nervousness, maybe that's not the right thing, baby. You know? And then Page of Swords is like, find out more before you cut this off uh, and really follow your heart on this. But ultimately, some of you are walking away from certain things. Could be a person, could be uh, an entire relationship. It could just be a friend, and it could be bad habits. It could be things that you need to let go of, you know? It could be an area of study that that you thought was going to turn out really great, and you thought that was your path, and now you decide you want to study something else. It could be something so simple as that. So definitely staying in the heart space, what's best for you, what feels best for you. And you're good at that, Pisces, if you listen. You are going to have to get more information about this, but ultimately you're going to be walking away from something, okay? And this could be unknown at this time because there is some sort of illusion here. Something unknown. Sometimes um, with Eight of Cups, you're walking away because you just know there's something better. You know, it's like, it's just like about not settling. So we're not settling, we're following our heart and we're going to do more research about this thing, whatever this is. This could just also be moving towards your wish fulfillment. Maybe not letting go of any person per se, but getting yourself prepared in your heart and researching where you're headed. Nine of Swords isn't always bad energy. Sometimes it's good energy and it's wanting you to take action. You have Page of Pinnacles on the bottom. So for me, this lets me know there is an opportunity coming in for you. And um, like I mentioned during the transits talk, that we all have opportunities coming up. So we don't want to let those go. So just keep your discernment on and uh, be ready to jump on this opportunity when it comes. Okay, Pisces. Let's see if there's anything else for Pisces. So we're following our intuition, we're following our gut. What makes you feel the best, Queen of Cups, okay? And you may have to defend this thing. You may be having to defend yourself, defend a relationship, defend a career choice, but this is like you're just gonna have to fight for it. And nobody else is gonna do that but you. No one else is gonna come in, save the day, and hand it to you. You're just gonna have to move towards it. And this is gonna take more research, whatever this thing is. You, it's like you've already been studying it. Maybe you feel like you haven't learned enough about it yet, so continue to do that. If it, it's in alignment with your heart space, then, then it's the right thing. Okay, and continue to fight for this thing. And you may have to defend it to people. But you know what? <laughs> that means forget about it. If you have to defend it, it's not worth talking about to them. Just don't even bring it up. Just keep fighting for what you want, Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Let us move now to Aries. For the Cancer New Moon. Current energy for Aries. Aries, please, Spirit. Alright, Knight of Pentacles. Moving towards something, slow and steady wins the race. This is a new opportunity. This could be um, whatever makes you feel stable and secure. And that is the energy of Cancer, so that makes total sense. This could be financially, this could be in your home life, this could be in your relationships. Then we have Page of Pentacles Reverse. So, 
Be careful. Spirit is saying slow and steady wins the race here. You got to be willing to commit to this thing. It's going to take effort. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take a while. You may have already been working on this for a while. Page of Pentacles reverse is like, don't, don't be afraid to go for it when it shows its face or when it starts actually showing its rewards for the work that you've done. Page of Pentacles can be a missed opportunity, so don't skip out on this thing because it's not quick. Okay, Aries, I know you can get impatient, but you are the jump starter. You're the initiator. So you know there's something that's going to take your commitment here. Okay, and if you're not willing to put in for the long haul, maybe that is what this is talking about. If you're not willing to work on it long term, maybe you're thinking this is going to take too long for me to see results. And then in that case, it would be a missed opportunity because you already feel a certain way about this. I don't know if it's a relationship. This just came out for Pisces too, Page of Swords. This is going to take more effort, more communication, more research, more studying up on this thing. Don't miss this opportunity. It may take effort and it may take a long time, but it's going to pay off. So this is this new fresh beginning that you have right now to start this thing. Take action. You're really good at that, Aries. There's no reason why you can't do it right now. You may be in a research phase, studying phase, because you don't want to miss an opportunity. And I think that's a really good energy to be in. If this is about money, a new business uh, idea, partnership, that seems really good. You are going to have to complete this research. I have the moon on the bottom, so there are some unexpected things that might pop up. There may be um, still some unknowns about it, and that's why you're researching. I keep getting the same sort of feel for some of you guys. Like We're all working on things, you know, whether it's a relationship or whatever, a career, new idea, new uh, side gig or project. And it's like, we just have to put in the effort and be in it for the long haul and do this extra research. And when you do, study up on exactly what needs to be done, step by step, wheel of fortune. Okay, so maybe it's not like you to go over something in your head a million times or figure out all the backstories and the laws and everything. And, you know, maybe it's like you to just initiate and jump into a leadership role or just take physical action. So this is saying you may have to do something you normally don't do. You may have to commit to something for the long haul, for, for a long time here, and it's gonna take extra thought process on your end, extra communication, extra figuring out all the little details of what has to be done, doing all the work that's normally on the backside that someone else can do, you may have to do that this time, Aries. And I think if you do, you won't miss this opportunity and it will end up really good for you. And fortune will come your way. Sorry about my dogs. Any more for Aries? Hermit mode, okay? So you may have to kind of um, go into your own space here and think about this, really grow and, and find this inner wisdom and enlightenment. And then we have the lovers. So this is taking a chance. This is making a choice, okay? And sticking to it. For some of you, this could actually be love or this could be you dealing with the Gemini. Um, for some of you, if this is love, you may be watching this person on social media. They may be watching you. And I think you know how you feel on the inside. This hermit mode is like kind of isolating yourself to see how you really feel. And when you do that, you gain clarity, you gain enlightenment. And then it may be uh, better for this lover's energy to come in at that time. Okay, and we also have Empress on the bottom which is a great energy for creating and manifesting and for being very attractive and um, attracting abundance and or relationships. Okay, Aries. 
Thank you. Let's jump to Taurus, please, Spirit. The Emperor, okay. So Taurus, this is you moving in a great direction, knowing exactly what you want, taking control and taking the power back in your life. This is you being the standing authority in your life, trying something outside of the box, doing things according to your own rules and plans. We have Four of Wands, just stability, security, commitment. Could be marriage, moving towards a marriage, taking the lead on a relationship perhaps, moving towards a commitment, and making an investment. So this could be a commitment in business, a career, or a relationship. And this commitment, this stability, is a firm foundation for this investment, this work and effort that you're putting in. It's like you've made the decision now, Taurus, that you're going to put in and commit to something and like you're willing to work hard at it so that's incredible I don't know if it's a relationship or a career or maybe you're building a house or it could literally be anything but it's like you made up your mind king of wands you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius um, or this could just be you super attractive right now but just uh, very passionate and very loving. This is like uh, King of Wands is like sexy and hot and uh, a little bit full of himself sometimes, but not all the time. And it's like <laughs> he knows what he wants. And I think that's the gist of this reading right here, Taurus, is it's become clear to you. And you're going to get what you want. You're already, it's like you made up your mind already. You may have uh, this feeling of competition or conflict, or may, this could be in the past since it's on the bottom, but you could be coming out of a sense of being in competition, maybe for a position at your job, maybe for a lover, you know, maybe you're dealing with a player, maybe you're the player, I don't know. But you're tired of this conflict, I think. And like you're making a choice here that you're going to go for what you want. And you're willing to put in the time and effort. Whatever that means for you. I really like that, Taurus. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for Taurus? So for some of you, you could be the King of Wands. Or you're dealing with King of Wands. Uh, this could be stressing you out. Maybe you're concerned that uh, it's not going to work out the way you want. But as long as you commit to this thing, it seems you're going to get exactly what you want. We have this anxiety and nervousness coming in. Don't overthink this, okay? You're passionate about it. You're willing to put in the effort. You know exactly what you want. So I say go for it. Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. This is going to be very stable for you. It's going to be steady, which is what you like. It's going to be slow, which is what you like. So don't stress too much about this. Take it slow and it's going to end up just exactly how you want it to go, Taurus. Okay? Long-term stability and success. If you're having sleepless nights, what I feel is, just don't, okay. This isn't going to be for everybody, but for some of you, it's like if you're in a relationship, or I guess even if you're trying to get a promotion or something and you try to cling way too tightly to it because you want it to go your way, you're afraid to lose this person or maybe you have a great connection or, or maybe you really want this job and you're in competition for it. So it's like you try to manipulate and maneuver and, and that causes that anxiety and that stress like it's not going to go how I want it to go. or you know, when unexpected challenges arise, it's like, well, I'm putting in all this effort and, and this is what I want. I'm committed to it. And, and it's like a fear that it's not going to happen the way you want. So just take a deep breath, Taurus. You're going to have to take it slow. Take it slow. 
which is what you like anyways. And see, when you get out of your comfort zone, when you push yourself out, that's when that anxiety comes up. When you try to do it and make it and do it quick and get in there and, you know, you don't want anyone else to get your lover. Or you don't want anyone else to get that job. So you're going to try and uh, uh, don't do that. You're better when you're slow and steady. And then that long-term success comes in. The long-term stability and security, which is what you need, right? That grounded sense of being safe and comfortable. That's when it comes in. Okay, Taurus, thank you. Let's move to Gemini, please, spirit. Gemini for the new moon in Cancer. Gemini, please. Spirit, tell me about Gemini for this new moon in Cancer. Page of Wands. Okay, wanting some adventure, wanting to start something new, looking forward to something, maybe um, some passion, maybe a night out, maybe a new lover, maybe a new creative idea. And then we have three of pinnacles. So this is about community. This is about coming together with others. This could be about building together a firmer foundation for your relationship. Um, but this is like wanting a page of wands is like a new spark. A new adventure, a new something stimulating and hot, it's fiery. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, um, but this is like wanting to build with somebody, wanting something brand new. You could have had an epiphany recently that you want to commit more to the person you're with. You want to build a stronger foundation with this person or just in general in your life. Maybe you're looking for a stronger foundation in your community reaching out to others meeting new people it's definitely something new and fresh that sparks that passion and curiosity in you and it's something that you want to do with others or someone else and you want to build on this we have a hermit hermit mode virgo could be dealing with a virgo we're thinking about a virgo and so now once you take some time out in hermit mode, maybe you've already done this. Maybe that's what spirit's saying. You already did this, you took the time out, you've been enlightened, or now you know what you want. Okay? Other than that, you could just be dealing with a Virgo or thinking about a Virgo. Thinking like, for some of you it's like, what could have been? If we just got that foundation <laughs> right. I don't know why that's coming up, but that's only for a couple of you. So so if you want a new beginning, you know it's going to take effort and it's more than just you, it's on their part too. I feel like you've done the inner work, you have the inner wisdom at this time and the enlightenment that's involved. You have the fool on the bottom in reverse. Some of you may be afraid to take this leap of faith with somebody. Maybe they haven't proven themselves yet or maybe they haven't done the work. The fool in reverse can also mean that you feel foolish or that in the past this person made you feel foolish. Okay, so maybe that is like you know what you want. Maybe you're fighting yourself on a few things here. Definitely healing. You've gone through this, this rite of passage already. This hermit mode is clear because now we have the six of swords here. You've already moved away from something, left something in the past, or gone through a rite of passage and transition where now you are ready for commitment. For sure. Some of you want marriage right now and it's become very clear and you're getting excited about it. For some of you, you could be planning a wedding already. You've come to this place where you know in your heart you're ready, you've healed, you've done the inner work. Maybe that other person hasn't or maybe you're waiting on them to make a move. This is going to turn out really good for you, I think, or at least this is how you feel about it. We've got Ten of Pentacles on the bottom, which is the dogs, the family, the abundance, the finance, everything, the health. It's a very happy card. Okay, so I think this is what you want. This is what you're moving towards. And this is this beginning that you're working on right now with this Cancer New Moon. 
So definitely, if you haven't taken the time out to heal some things, you know there's some things in your closet, okay? Whether you've healed them or not, you know they're there. So if you know if you need to do more work. You know if, if you're kind of going through a place of healing right now. It's great to move towards those things, but just make sure that you're ready and that you don't feel foolish moving towards that with the person you're with. You want to make sure you're going for the best possible potential for yourself and your future. Okay, Jim and I, thank you. We're going to move to Cancer. So, Cancer, Cancer Rising, Cancer Moons, <laughs> even Cancer North Node or Venus. Let's see, because this new moon may be extra potent for you. Okay. All right. First of all, somebody's feeling trapped, lacking a sense of freedom, but this is self-imposed. Whenever you see Eight of Swords, this woman is tied up and her eyes are tied, blindfolded, and she's tied up sort of to this fence of swords, but her feet are free. Her feet aren't bound, so that means she could probably walk away. So that means this is self-imposed. You may be feeling stuck, but you're really not. This could just be overthinking things, negative thoughts towards something. So check your thoughts. Check what it is you're manifesting with those thoughts. You do have an Ace of Swords here, which shows a new beginning, a new inspiration, um, or just an epiphany, like gaining clarity about this thing. It's like, oh, I can just walk away? Oh, I can just do whatever I want to do? Why have I been waiting around this whole time? Let's see what else. Okay, Knight of Wands. This could be going on wanting more adventure, wanting more passion, heading towards more passion, or a fire sign coming in for you. So this could be Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Just something very passionate and creative energy. Taking action towards something. It's like you gain clarity and you go, oh wait, this is all on me. I was keeping myself in this place. Now I know what to do. Now I can take action towards this thing. We do have three of swords that just popped out. So some of you, um, if you're feeling trapped in a relationship, it's like you get this epiphany and you're like, oh, you may be the one causing heartbreak this week cancer uh, or you may be going through heartbreak so this could really be anything it could even be surgery sometimes three of swords represents having surgery or or getting a cut or an accident something like that yeah this no this is about a relationship okay we have four of wands which is like maybe you thought you were going to marry this person maybe you still are i don't know but we do have Five of Wands on the bottom, which is conflict, chaos. So you may have been feeling with this past Mercury retrograde and all of the eclipse season, maybe stuff just kept coming up in your relationship and it got to feel icky. You know, if you didn't handle it right or you start feeling bitter, then you start feeling trapped. Even though you're not, you start feeling like you want to be free. You want to go out and do other things or you want to talk to other people. So if that is the case, there's definitely this Ace of Swords. So this could be cutting someone out. This could be a new truth that comes out. And then you decide to take action towards this thing. For some of you, you're going to be breaking up with somebody. I, it's just in the cards, okay? And it could have been somebody that you thought you were going to marry. Or you could already be married to this person. It seems like a lot of fighting happening recently. Spirit is saying to me just now, okay, my higher self, you have a chance now, okay, you know the truth, you've had this epiphany, you've got the clarity, you have the chance now either to take action towards this thing, if you want this four of wands, connection, stability, or you, it's in your hands, okay? You can, regardless of all this fighting and chaos, you can make it right. 
It's up to you to take action. So you're either going to move towards this thing because you've had this epiphany or it's causing you to move away from it. And that would be that three of swords. So you may be the one causing a heartbreak. Someone else may be the one causing a heartbreak. Okay, but what you really need to understand right now is that this is basically all on you. I'm not saying you caused it. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying for you in your own mind and how you stand in the relationship or the career, whatever this is for you, Cancer. The thoughts that you're having are definitely contributing to the way you feel in this relationship and you can change your thoughts. So this is why the universe is saying this is all on whatever action you take next. Either working on it or cutting it out. Yeah. For some of you, this has really become a burden. Okay, or there's just a lot of stress about this. And, there, and there's a lot about being right. Who's right? But that's all perspective. You know, and that's all comes back to this. Your own thoughts, your own negative thoughts. How you decide to take something that they say or they did. Or how you decide to respond to something. And if you're keeping yourself trapped, Seems like you're gonna get yourself out of this this week, one way or the other. Whether you make it better with this person or you decide to leave this person, or career, I don't know what this is. It feels like a person, okay? But for some of you, it may be something else. If it doesn't resonate for you, um, you know, check out another reading from the past or um, there's so many readers on YouTube. But I hope that these resonate for you guys. And Cancer, it's just kind of like taking responsibility and accountability right now. And just taking action. Jumping on it, whatever it is. And, and sometimes it's just jumping on those negative thoughts. That Three of Swords could be your own self-imposed pain. Because maybe you're afraid of committing to this person. Maybe this commitment, or just thinking about this commitment, makes you feel stuck. I don't know. You guys will figure it out. This will be potent energy for you, as it is a new moon in your sign. See right here, negative thinking. Don't play the victim. Don't, you gotta get out of this mental anguish of, of focusing on the wrong things. Where is your focus? If it's not on what you want, it's in the wrong place. Okay? Don't focus on the stuff that's not going right. Look at the opportunity in front of you right now. Take it. No self-sabotaging today. Okay, thank you. Let's jump to Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Please tell me about Leo. Leo for the new moon in Cancer. Ooh! We have new love, Ace of Cups. New love, new phase of love, new uh, emotional fulfillment, just overjoyed and fulfilled in love or passion or emotions, okay? So Ace of Cups is usually something new, um, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be a new beginning in the relationship you're already in. Shh! No! Go night night! Ace of Cups can also be a spark of creativity, something that brings you emotional happiness, like a new hobby or a new baby, um, something that just brings a lot of emotional fulfillment all at once. So Leo, you seem very happy. Venus and Mars are in your sign, and that is very good for love. Okay, Leo. So we have this Ace of Cups, and then out popped this four of pentacles, but it popped out sideways, so this could be 
There's a little bit of uncertainty here with this love. I don't know why. We'll figure out why. Yeah, the moon, exactly. The moon on the bottom. There's something unknown or there's something that you think is missing. You may feel that the person doesn't feel the same as you or you just have questions about if they do. This is also a sense of insecurity, which makes a lot of sense with Saturn opposing Leo um, in Aquarius and, and opposing Mars and Venus in your sign. So it may be a little bit difficult for you guys. The love is definitely there, but I think it's about figuring out your insecurity, figuring out what are you still holding on to that's kind of holding you back. Um, you may need to compromise more in this loving situation if you want it to work out. Um, you may need to do more in order to build a stronger foundation as far as commitment goes or taking the next step if you even want to take a next step at this time. Okay, but the moon on the bottom is Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces or uh, it could just be this sense of uncertainty or there's something, maybe some type of illusion or something that you're not seeing fully yet or you just feel that way. Does that make sense? And with this dark moon and Cancer, it's very, can be like something feels hidden or maybe it feels like you don't fully trust this yet. So let's see. Tell me about Leo with the new moon in Cancer. Okay, the chariot, which is Cancer. This is definitely taking the reins on something, deciding to move forward with something, moving in a new direction. You could be, um, for those of you who are already in a relationship with this person, you could be deciding um, to try something brand new and to to take control of the relationship, not in a bad way, but just like maybe take more initiative, maybe be the one to stand up and take more decisions, take more of a leadership role because that's what you're supposed to do, Leo, um, especially if you're dealing with the Pisces. But what pops out with this chariot card is moving in a new direction, letting go of the past. Eight of Cups is walking away from something. So for some of you, you may be if you are in a relationship for some time, this may be about finding new love elsewhere and walking away from this. For others of you, this is just doubling down on this chariot card, which is like going in a new direction. If this is a relationship you've been in um, for a few months or a couple years or something and you want to try um, to build on this love, a new foundation or a new level, a new phase of love and taking it further, the commitment or falling more in love, that sort of thing. These cards together would mean moving towards more wish fulfillment, stronger devotion or um, more of a connection in a new way. So this is you maybe being more vulnerable. Maybe this is you making these compromises and becoming stronger in your sense of self in the relationship, knowing your role, knowing the part you play in the relationship and just really jumping headfirst into that. And this will help you to let go of some things. Perhaps there's, perhaps there's some bitterness or forgiveness that needs to occur in order to move forward in the relationship. But this is taking the relationship in a whole nother level, brand new direction. Maybe it's something you've always wanted or wanted to try or wanted to put more effort into, making yourself more vulnerable. Sorry. Um, but this is, for some of you, you, you may be finding new love and and have a, a sense of walking away because of control issues. So I want to say be careful of control issues this week. Be careful of trying to hold too tightly to something or to try to make it your own way. Compromise is going to be very important for you and uh, you don't want to cause someone to walk away. 
So just be careful if you try to take the reins too harshly. The Chariot is a great card. It's definitely about moving forward and moving in a new direction. But with this Eight of Cups here, for some of you, there will be more of an energy of walking away. It doesn't necessarily mean from the person or relationship, maybe from an aspect of the relationship, letting certain habits go, trying new things, letting go of the past. That's huge. Um, and that will help you open up to this new energy that you're attracting. Ace of Swords on the bottom. So this could be putting an end to certain things, certain habits like I mentioned, cutting things out, cutting toxic people out or situations that may have deterred you from your person or your love life. Um, and this could also be anything that you're passionate about, okay? For some of you, this may not be a relationship at all. For some of you, this could be walking away from something, um, an old hobby or something that you used to do because you're moving in a new direction now and you have a new creative passion or whatever lights you up and makes you happy. Okay, but um, this Ace of Swords, it can be a new truth that comes out, a communication that is had, maybe like a serious sit-down conversation that's needed. Um, and it could also just be clarity. Like you get this epiphany, this light bulb comes on in your mind and it's like you just know um, the direction you want to go in and it seems like you're just ready to do it. So let's ask if there's anything else for Leo, but this sounds like a good reading. I feel like as long as you compromise and you don't try to take full control of everything and your person, um, and also just remember this forgiveness and letting go of the past here. Queen of Wands. So this is a very attractive energy. This is a loyal energy. Queen of Wands is very loyal. And this Leo, uh, you could be dealing with another Leo. Or have Sag or Aries in their chart. Or you may have that in your chart. But this is like, she's hot, you know. Queen of Wands is hot and she's loyal. And she's like... loyal in the sense that it's like you don't have to worry and she may get a lot of attention the queen of wands this person or your person may get more attention this month um, or you may be getting more attention this month with the queen of wands energy but she's like she knows what she wants you know just saying if that's an issue with this four of pentacles here insecurity control weird issues Okay, Queen of Wands is loyal, and she's like brutally honest at times, like, don't try me, you know, or like, don't be flirting with me, I got a man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny, Page of Cups, Ah, so this could be like, um, thinking about proposal, or conversation about a proposal, or just a new level of commitment, this is like, thinking about in your mind what you want with this person could be an engagement could be um just like hey let me take you out um could just be thinking about having a loving caring conversation okay thank you it is storming now the storm is getting worse elsa it's getting worse now so if you hear thunder well, you hear my dogs barking, that's why. Let's move to Virgo. Okay, Spirit, please tell me about Virgo. For the new moon in Cancer. The Hanged Man. Okay, could be dealing with the Pisces. Or this is just kind of trying to see things from a different perspective right now. Kind of hesitant, taking a pause uh, before you make a decision about something. Just trying to see it in another way. Uh, some of you may just be indecisive and not really know what you want right now. Let's see, tell me more about this hangman for Virgo. Virgo energy. Tell me about Virgo, please. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. 
So Wheel of Fortune has to do a lot with lessons. It is having to do with blessings and good things coming in, but in most cases, it's after you've already made a change of some sort. It's after you've already learned a lesson, put away the past, finally cut out a bad habit or something that you've been doing, you know, or cut out a bad relationship and then the blessings come in. So it seems like you're having to look at this from a new perspective, whatever this is. Whether you've dealt with that lesson and learned it or not, um, or or you're just having to um, rethink, restructure the blessings in your life. How you think about your life. Are you being grateful? Are you calling in your blessings? Are you manifesting the best possible future? It's another pause and reflect card. Four of Swords. Okay, so for Virgo, we have this hangman taking a pause before something new can come in. Okay, you're definitely healing at this time. Four of Swords is healing. It's taking a break. You may be taking a break in a relationship, kind of taking a step back, taking space, trying to see what you can make out of this, if any. Um, and we do have Five of Cups on the bottom. So watch your thinking. I feel Spirit is saying you need to be more grateful right now because you do have many blessings coming in. Also, what lessons are you avoiding? What healing are you avoiding? Um, and where is your focus? Are you focused on negative things? Are your thoughts mostly negative or, or feeling unworthy or thoughts of lack? Because that would be blocking, causing resistance for this blessing or fortune that wants to come in. Definitely, once a lesson is complete, you will gain clarity and feel much better. I feel like you're doing this on your own in a very calm manner the hangman four of swords as far as figuring out what you need to heal and just being okay with taking a pause and looking at the situation from a different a different way a different lens we do have eight of pentacles which means you're gonna have to do some self self-care self-work self-development this is more healing this is more working on you this is leveling up bettering yourself at your trait at what you love and your hobbies, whatever this is. This is making an investment in yourself, Virgo. Okay, so this the spirit is saying you've got good things coming in. You're deciding how to how to work with the energy, how to go about it, how to accept it and know that you are worthy. And that comes just by working on yourself. We have the lovers on the bottom. So for some of you, if you're in a relationship at this time, um, you're definitely taking a break from this, okay? We have the lovers and we have page of swords on the bottom. So you may be um, watching someone on social media, kind of keeping your eye on somebody a little bit, or they may be watching you. But you seem to be in a pausing place here. I don't know if you took a break from a relationship and just working on you. But I think ultimately that's how you're going to learn these lessons and heal yourself. Something has become very heavy. It's a burden for you. Ten of Wands is like completion. It's almost over. You're almost there. So it's either really hard and you're ready to push through and, and defeat it or have victory or or get what you've been working towards or you're just so stressed out and burdened by it you're ready to let it go okay so that's the difference depends on interpretation but it seems like after a pause and reflection and working on yourself maybe you do learn a lesson and it seems like you let it go i think you have many options or you think you have many options maybe um this is about dreams what are your dreams and goals aspirations fantasy um and it can be a great card it can be about many opportunities at once for happiness and fulfillment and it's about the road that you choose the cup that you choose the path that you want to choose and so he has all these options and sometimes illusion can be involved sometimes you think there's more options than you actually have okay but you do have commitment here so this could be in a marriage for some of you 
or this could just be you wanting something more stable. And you're, it's like you're questioning whether you have these blessings in real life or if it's illusion. After working on yourself, which I feel like you're going to be healing and letting go of some things during this new moon. And as you do, you will be letting go of this illusion. And I think you'll feel more stable and grounded. And you'll know which way you want to go forward. There is some type of commitment here. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. And that's how I feel like you guys feel right now. Like you're juggling. Or like you're weighing the pros and cons. Or like you're trying to plan a future but you're not sure. There's a lot of uncertainty. And trying to figure out the best way to do it. Trying to plan. But you're not in an energy yet where you have full knowing and you can plan. So continue to take this time out. You got to do this healing. These lessons are being learned. There's probably a few chapters closing on your life right now. And I think you'll have more clarity. New focus on yourself. Taking it easy. Healing those parts of you. That you feel, you know, need that inner work. Or, or that there's still some type of hurt. Or lessons that. If you keep learning the same lessons over and over and not changing anything, those lessons are going to keep coming up. Insecurity. Expansion, trying new things. And listening to your intuition. And commitment. Okay, traditional beliefs. Questioning traditional beliefs. Are your beliefs in alignment with theirs? Following your intuition. And dealing with insecurity that's huge for Virgo and then being ready to expand your horizons try new things explore new avenues try someone you normally wouldn't try or try something new in the relationship if something isn't working you gotta fix that somehow a lot of this does have to do with you and once you deal with you and heal you and change you then your perspective will change and then you'll have a knowing of what this commitment and this uh, firm foundation that you want really is. And then I see that you're going to go for it. Put out some type of offer. Knight of Cups. You may be talking to a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You may want to offer something to a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And you're just kind of waiting on, on the healing that you need to do. We have Queen of Wands here as well. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Sag, Aries, Leo. Okay, Virgo. A lot of healing. Okay. Don't overthink it. Work on you. If you need to take more space for you, then do it. You're never going to miss out on something that's made for you. Meant for you. So if you need to take time and space, then do that. Okay, thank you. Let's jump to Libra. Libra, please, Spirit, for the new moon Cancer. Libra. Tell me about Libra, please, for the new moon in Cancer. Okay, building, new foundation, wanting to build with someone. Or increase your um, partnership, spousal relationship, business partnership, or just your community involvement. We also have Ten of Swords. This could be healing. This could represent an ending in your life. Healing from an ending. Putting uh, something to rest. Putting an ending to pain and suffering. This could also represent backstabbing at this time. So be careful. Um in and around your community or social media you may be dealing with people who are saying nasty things about you or um, hurting you in some way for others of you maybe you're um you have king of cups on the bottom so you could be dealing with um pisces cancer scorpio or this could just be your sense of emotional involvement king of cups is very caring and and loving and he's very mature about his emotions 
He's coming from a very like well knowledgeable, very emotional understanding. He's just very mature when it comes to communicating how he feels and what he wants and just being there for other people. So I feel that you may feel someone took advantage of you in the past or someone has hurt you, broken your heart. There is a sense of suffering, but the 10 uh, represents completion. So this is over now, this pain of this 10 of swords. I feel like you, you are wanting to move forward with someone. You may feel like they hurt you in the past and that's why this King of Cups is here. It's like you feel, maybe you feel now you're in a place where you're very mature or this could be them that you're dealing with. There is a sense of partnering up and building with somebody. But there is this pain here. So you could be letting go of a past relationship. You could be dealing with a, a hurtful ending at this time. Tell me more about Libra, please. Yeah. Two of Cups and Six of Pentacles. This is a really good energy. So... Okay, I feel that you've matured because of past pain. You're now ready to work on something, build with someone who you think or is your soulmate. Partnership. It could be business, but if this is a lover, and for most Libras it's a lover. Two of Cups is about soulmate. It's about union. It's like... Um, one of the twin flame cards because it's two people offering each other the same amount of equal love, support, energy. They're both giving each other all that they have. Okay, one cup for one cup. It's like, this is my all. I want to give it to you. And they're doing the same for you and at the same time six of pentacles it just backs up that energy the king of cups it's like you feel you've matured or you feel you're at an emotional place now where you can build with someone okay we have to heal from this past pain that pain is there but i feel you know now you've learned something there is a sense of completion when it comes to this pain or some sort of ending that happened in the past two of cups with Six of Pentacles is about two lovers who are giving their all equally. No one person gives more than the other. So there should not be a sense here of I'm giving everything to this person. I feel that this is a very equal relationship and you get exactly what you need out of it and you give to the other person exactly what they need. It's like you've found balance on this card is the scales so Libra maybe you feel very balanced with this person now after this past pain this could feel like a breath of fresh air on the bottom we have eight of swords so you could be coming out of a sense of feeling stuck um, you may have felt stuck for a very long time maybe you're feeling more free or this could be um, Maybe at times you feel stuck in the relationship, but it really feels like you're wanting to move forward. So with that Eight of Swords, it's always your own thinking. It's always you. It's not the other person or how they make you feel. It's how you feel in the relationship. It's how you talk to yourself in your mind. It's about what you say that keeps you feeling stuck or feeling like, Oh, I don't have a sense of freedom or I can't do what I want. None of that shit is real, okay? It's about what you need to say. You voice your opinion to your partner and then you hear what they need to say. There should never be a time, and this happens to everyone, when you're in the shower or you're home alone or you're out and about in the grocery store and you're thinking about something they said or did and it's something so little but then you start to twist it in your mind and then you start to say well maybe they feel like this or maybe they thought this or maybe they're trying to just keep me here or maybe they're not who I thought they were and all of that is not real 
not true and causes way more problems. And that makes you feel trapped, stuck, because of your own mind. So don't do that, Libra. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna move past this pain from the past, this suffering, because this person isn't like that, okay? Something has changed. There has been evolvement emotionally, whether it's just in you or in your person or in a new relationship. That's more mature, feels more balanced. It feels more loving. It feels more equal. It feels like you don't have to worry. And it feels like you want to build with this person. And we have justice on the bottom. So it's like maybe you've been through it, Libra, in relationships. You've been through it and you finally found one that you actually like. And this is justice. This is getting karmic justice, and it's also balance. Not one extreme, not the other. Just very calm, and just feels really good. So that sounds great, Libra. Enjoy that this week. Make sure you're healing from past pain. You don't want to bring in that garbage into a new phase in a relationship or a new relationship period. Right? I feel like you're feeling really good. And looking forward to the future. Keep your negative thoughts in check. Because it seems like this could be really good for you. As long as you keep that balance and get out of your headspace with those negative thoughts. No self-sabotaging, Libra. Okay. Thank you. The lovers. Okay, let's go to Scorpio, please. Scorpio for the new moon in Cancer. Oh my goodness, the sun, which is Leo. Seven of Cups, judgment in reverse. Wow, okay. A little bit of illusion here. Little bit of being fooled, I think. Being fooled into some sort of fake happiness, maybe. Judgment call was made and it is being avoided. You knew something and then, and then you're not doing it. <laughs> That's what it feels like, Scorpio. It could be with a Leo. Uh, this could involve children. Could be your Someone, your significant other, maybe have kids with this person, maybe they have kids or whatever. But it's like there's happiness here, or is it? Seven of Cups is fantasy, it's dreams, it's options, it's illusions. It's like you had options, but then judgment reverse. Judgment reverse is like trying to resurrect the dead. It's like you knew you had an inner calling and you rejected it. Universe sent you a million signs and you're like, that's not a sign. I'm just gonna keep doing this one thing because I feel really happy right now in this moment unless I'm delusional and I'm making up stuff in my head and trying to say, yeah, they changed. Oh, everything's great now. Look, they're changing for me. And you're completely ignoring the universe. Resurrecting the dead. This isn't going to be for everybody. We have Ace of Wands on the bottom. It's passion. You could have a really great connection with this person sexually. And that could be keeping you stuck. But this could just be a new beginning, a new inspiration. Something that, that you're trying to build with this person that feels adventurous. It feels like there's chemistry. It feels like there's a new fire. And maybe it does feel new. Um, but somebody is kind of avoiding something here. Could be trying to make yourself believe that there's something more there than what really is. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Five of Cups. This could be victim mentality. You could be feeling bad about yourself, self-esteem, and this could be something that's keeping you trapped. Let's not resurrect the dead, Scorpio. Let's not go back to this. And 
And let's not focus on negativity either about yourself. I'm trying to think of all the ways and reasons why someone would stay in something and build an illusion in their mind unless they're dealing with someone who creates even more of a sense of illusion like a narcissist, you know, someone who would gaslight you or make you think you're crazy or make you feel like a victim. Uh, you're never a victim. You can walk away at any time. This person may make you feel like you have low self-esteem. This person may try to act like things are all good. I really hate this reading for you, Scorpio, because you have options. There is happiness. It could be that your happiness is within this with this child and not necessarily with this person you know when people try to make it work for the kids that sort of energy but you have other options and you it's like maybe maybe this is a, an illusion where you think this is so great and you ignored all the red flags and and you could be feeling like the victim right now and focus on negative things. You have two opportunities behind you. In this car, there's three cups that are spilled and two that are full behind him. He's just looking at the three that are spilled, thinking about lost time, lost money, lost love. You know, and, and maybe that's some reason why people will stay, even though they've seen the red flags. When, when you think, of all the stuff and all the time and all the effort that you put in. I don't want to, you know, I put all this effort into this person. When the universe speaks, when a judgment call is made, you don't resurrect the dead. Ace of Cups, if you want it, Scorpio, there's new love coming in for you. If you want it. Perhaps you guys are moving forward maybe maybe you've been avoiding an ending um, or avoiding an inner knowing an inner calling and now you're deciding to try to move forward there is this nine of wands here which is about moving forward it's about self-protection it's about putting your guard up building walls protecting yourself I feel if you guys have not lost this relationship yet it doesn't feel like it's in a good place either you're protecting it defending it to others um, but you know in your heart you're this isn't right you know it or you're still in it and you've put your guards up to this person now and you're like prove it but you're it's like you're remembering this past happiness that was here okay Scorpio so don't ignore this inner calling whatever comes to you this new moon in cancer don't try to protect or defend the dead does that make sense when spirit and the universe says, this is dead, move on. You don't go back and say, no, it's, it's alive, look, it has a pulse, no, look, and try to make it work and resurrect it. It's not, it's not going to happen. You're gonna, just going to keep making it worse for yourself. You do have options and you could be very happy on your own or with your kids or with somebody else. But you're choosing to ignore the signs even though you still feel this heartache. It's like you want to suffer. It's like you feel it's your duty or obligation. And so you're defending it. If not, you're focused on all the horrible things they said to you and you feel like a victim and you, and you don't know how to leave. You know, this could take this anyway, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be a relationship, okay? It could be a career. It could be people at work. 
uh, your boss, could be your mother, could be anyone that keeps you in this situation where you feel like you should have moved on and you didn't. So you're either very defensive towards this person, building up walls, trying to protect yourself, or you're trying to defend and protect the relationship to other people. And they all know and they all see right through you. And you know too. The Emperor. Stand in your Aries energy, Scorpio. For some of you, you're dealing with an Aries. For some of you, you have Aries in your chart. For some of you, you're an Aries North Node. And you're supposed to stand in your power and take back control of your life and say, uh-uh. And don't resurrect the dead and keep it moving, okay? Heartbreak. Devil. Somebody has addiction issues. Constant heartbreak. This could be you, it could be them. You could be, um, I know a lot of Scorpio have this thing where they just feel, they feel so much pain already, you know, that's obvious. But they like to feel the pain. They like to sit in the pain. For some Scorpios, you like to overindulge a little bit with alcohol and that makes it even worse. So if you're heartbroken, move past it. Don't sit in that energy. You have things coming to you. Take control of your life. You have new love available to you. Lots of options and happiness. But you got to answer that call. You have to answer the, the inner calling. The universe calling. Don't resurrect the dead, Scorpio. Thank you. Let's move to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Tell me about this new moon in Cancer for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you guys have such an opportunity now, this week, to see things for what they are. To get some truth about your relationship. If you want to know something, it's going to come out this week. If it's true love, you're going to know by this week. If it's not true love, you're going to know by this week. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hierophant. Traditional values. Marriage. Commitment. Control. Government. The chariot. So we have Taurus energy. Some of you are Taurus. Uh, moons are rising or have heavy Taurus placement. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. We also have Chariot, which is Cancer. Some of you um, are trying to change things in your marriage and or moving away from your marriage. The Chariot is all about taking a new direction, taking the reins, taking control back in your relationship perhaps or in your marriage. We have the Empress on the bottom. You may be really feeling yourself right now. If you're like, hey, I'm abundant. I'm beautiful. Or I got everything I need, man or woman, doesn't matter. I'm very uh, attractive at this time. And maybe you're an amazing manifester. So, you're like, this is how it's going to go. You're taking the reins back, you're taking control, and you're taking something in a new direction. Sagittarius, you may be learning something new, changing your belief systems moving in a new direction as far as uh, expansive knowledge goes. But the Empress energy is very fertile. Very, like, can have anything she wants. So for some of you, you're moving away from an old belief system. You're moving away from how people told you you should do it. Moving away possibly from a marriage or a commitment. And trying it a new way. And you know the path. The path is clear now. And it's a different way. And it's good. And it's moving forward. And you're doing it. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please, Spirit. For the new moon in Cancer. Past pain here. Or future pain here. Someone may um, be backstabbing. Energy of hurt, neglect, left out in the cold. You feel like somebody stabbed you in the back. Suffering. Oh, 
Okay, we have this, um, this two of swords here. Some of you are afraid to cause an ending and you're stuck in a, in a place of indecision even though you know the new path is clear. You know what you need to do, but you're afraid to cause pain or hurt or sorrow. Um, and so maybe you feel like you're not really sure which path to take. Should I stay with these old traditional values, this old way of doing it with this old tired relationship? <laughs> I don't want to cause any pain or suffering. I'm scared for it to come to completion and that's why I'm sitting in this energy pretending like I don't know what to do. But you do know because the chariot's here and the empress was here. So you know the most abundant, new, exciting, fertile pathway. You know the best way to go. King of Cups on the bottom you could be dealing with. A Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, a mature, emotionally mature male, or this could just be you, coming from a very mature emotional place, deciding what's best for you and what path is best for you moving forward. There's always a sense of healing with this card, even though it's so destructive. Ten of Swords is a man laying on the ground with ten swords in his back. He's dead. It's done. The pain is there, the suffering, okay, but that the 10 represents completion, means it's over with. So you may be afraid to cause pain or you may be tired of feeling pain. There is some sort of indecision, but I feel like you know. Following your heart, following your gut, following your mature emotional discernment in your heart, what you know is right is going to bring you victory. Working with others, building with others in your community is going to bring you victory. Reach out, build a network, talk to more people, go out more. Brings victory, brings a sense of getting more credit for the work you've put in, getting more recognition, acknowledgements, it could even be fame. Okay. I feel like there are some questions surrounding a possible soulmate connection. Doesn't have to be a lover. Could be. Could be a friend. Could be a mother. They're all soulmates. So it is two of cups. So it may be a marriage for some of you. Um, you could be walking away from a marriage or thinking about it or already have. And this could be making you feel insecure in who you are or you're afraid of feeling insecure not only of this pain but maybe you're afraid to be alone. King of Wands, you know what you want. You're going to take action towards what you want. You're creating your future. You're just going to have to fight for it. Right now there's a lot of healing that needs to be done and there will continue to need to be healing um, to, be, to be worked on. King of Wands, you could be dealing with a another Sagittarius or a Leo or an Aries. Um, that could just be you standing in your power saying, I'm going to go get what I want. I don't want to waste any more time. And I'm going to move in this new direction. So I hope it works out for you, Sagittarius. Sounds amazing. Let's do the collective real quick. Spirit. Tell me about this collective energy for the new moon and cancer. New Moon and Cancer for the collective. What's everybody working on right now? New Moon and Cancer for the collective. Please give us clear interpretation. Clear messages. Thank you. Temperance. Okay. Sagittarian energy, which is the south node right now. Not wanting to go back to old things. Tempering the waters. Having patience. Listening to your guides. Giving it time. Taking a pause. Sitting in the energy that you're in. Really feeling it out. This could be... Um, fortune after failure or um, 
like good things after a rough time of suffering. I think over the past few months as a collective, we all been through a lot, a lot of changes, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of new ideas, a lot of sparks just flying all over the place, endings and beginnings. So this is like about being grateful, fortune after difficulty. It's being grateful for where you are right now, healing yourself, having patience for what's coming in, and tempering a bit. This is a more hermetic card. It's like more about tempering the waters. What are you manifesting? What are you trying? Tweak, tweak it a little bit. What have you done? Try something different. Queen of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups is about, in this case, more of sitting in your Cancerian energy, wherever that is for you at this time. What are you working on? How do you feel in your home? How do you feel with your family? How do you feel in your values? Are they changing? Has your mind changed about things over the past few months? Feeling compassion for others, giving to others, and leading with your heart. So, a very positive energy when it comes to love and just emotions in general. Feeling very connected and in tune with your emotions. And just basically knowing where you're headed. Feeling good about where you're headed. And what you have in front of you. What opportunities lie in front of you. Tell me more for the collective. This card, I swear. It's come out every single time, I think. Dang it. Ten of Swords. We have to heal this pain. We're broken. Now, whether that's individually or as a collective, I'm thinking it means as a collective, we have some type of pain where we don't trust each other. We feel backstabbed. Feel like we got to keep one eye open. You know, like, who can you trust? And, and we want to have compassion for each other. Um, but when you just think about all the groups and and spiritually and all the different kinds of human beings, we're going to have to trust each other. We're going to have to heal this pain and have compassion for those who are hurting. Get over our own suffering. Recognize, first of all, recognize pain and suffering because people will just stuff that stuff down and be like, I'm fine, I'm perfectly healed, I've done all the work. Nobody's done all the work. Nobody. Acknowledge pain and suffering and having compassion for those who are still having pain and suffering. Okay, healing it, getting over it, putting an end to the suffering. Then we move into happiness. This is a happy energy overall with temperance, queen of cups. There's just some healing to be done as well. And that's gonna make you feel a little bit more sensitive with this new moon. But it's gonna show you what you have to be grateful for. It could be your family, it could be your kids, it could be your money, it could be your lifestyle, it could be your friends, it could be your career. It's just really about being grateful for who you are at this time, the lessons that you've learned, all the knowledge you've accumulated, and the healing that's being done. Opening our hearts, Empress on the bottom, so that is growing more abundant, more fertile, growing more towards a positive direction now and feeling more attractive, um, feeling more positive, like you could have anything. Like the future has endless potential and it really does. But we have to find a way to come together. And it starts by individually doing it, just healing ourselves, having compassion uh, for everyone else and focusing on the good stuff. Focus on what's right in front of you. Focus on the opportunities you have now. 
And when those weird things come up that make you want to snap or get angry or whatever people do to each other, or feel insecure, whatever the underlying theme is, which is mostly fear um, and hurt, let's just nip that in the butt. Let's just nip it. Okay? And just don't even go there. Let's not go there. I think we have a lot of happiness coming in, a lot of love stories, a lot of investing in our futures, and a lot of victory. So I hope this helps someone. Please like and subscribe. Please share this video um, for this new moon in Cancer. And I hope you have a good one.